In this video, we'll do a uh, series um, solution method on an equation that we don't know how to solve. Uh, y double prime minus xy equals zero. This is a difficult equation or an impossible equation to solve using our previous ansatz methods because there's a non-constant coefficient here. So this x here, this non-constant coefficient, makes the exponential ansatz um, uh, not a solution to this equation. So the only thing we have available to us here is either a series solution method or a numerical method of solution. And in this video, I'll talk about the series solution method. And in the next video, I'll show you uh, what the numerical method solution uh, looks like. OK. So we proceed with our ansatz. So we try y of x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n x to the n. Uh, we substitute in. We get the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of uh, n times uh, n minus 1 times a sub n times x to the n minus 2 minus x times y. x times y is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the n plus 1. And that's supposed to be equal to 0. OK. Again, we need to combine this into a single power series. Uh, we can do that by lifting this one up to match x to the n plus 2. So we drop n down by uh, the summation down by 3 and all the n's up by 3. Um, we get the sum from n equals minus 1 to infinity and then lift up by 3. So n plus 3, n plus 2, a sub n plus 3 times x to the n plus 1 minus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, a sub n times x to the n plus 1 equals 0. OK, now we want to exhibit this as a single power series. There's a slight uh, complication here that is not too difficult to deal with. The second power series starts with the, uh, the linear term. So n equals 0 has a0 times x. So this second power series doesn't have a constant. This first power series starts with n equals minus 1, has an x to the 0 term. So this first power series does have a constant. So in order to combine these two power series, we need to isolate the first term of the power series, which is the constant term. So the first term, n equals minus 1 here, is uh, 2 times 1 times a sub 2, 2 times a sub 2 times x to the 0. That's the constant term. And then to that, we add the combined power series, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of n plus 3 times n plus 2 times a sub n plus 3 minus a sub n. That's the coefficient, and that multiplies x to the n plus 1, and that's supposed to be equal to 0. OK, so now we have a single power series is a little different looking because we have the constant term out front, but then in this power series here, we have the x term, the x squared term, the x cubed term, etc. So each coefficient is supposed to be 0. Uh, this one here will tell us a2 equals 0, right? Because the constant term has to be 0. And this one here is our recursion relation.
Okay? So let's write the recursion relation. So we have a sub uh, n plus 3. is equal to uh, a sub n divided by n plus 3 times n plus 2. Okay, and that's our recursion relation. So again, we work through the um, sequences of a's. Um, here they are separated by 3. So we can start with A0. So A0 can be our free parameter. Remember, second order equation, two free parameters. So we can start with uh, A0. And then putting in N equals 0, we get A3. So A3 is here equal to A0 over 3 times 2. Uh, putting in uh, n equals 3, we get a6. So a6 is equal to a3 over 6 times 5. But we know a3. a3 is a0 over 3 times 2. So this is a0 over 6 times 5. Skip 4, 3 times 2. Okay, let me put the times up here. Uh, so interesting, 6 times 5, skip 4, 3 times 2. Uh, we can do one more. So 0, 3, 6 would be a 9. That's equal to n equals 6, so a 6 over 9 times 8, which is a 0 over 9 times 8, skip 7. 6 times 5, skip 4, 3 times 2, okay, and etc. There is a pattern here. Uh, you can see the pattern. So we're doing 0, 3, 6, 9. The next one will be a sub 12. That will be a 0 over 12 times 11, skip 10, 9 times 8, skip uh, 7. 6 times 5, skip 4, 3 times 2, and so on. Okay, that was starting with A0. We can start with A1, and then N equals 1 here, so we get A4. A4 is equal to A1 over 4 times 3. Right. Um, starting with, uh, that's n equals 1, so starting with n equals 4, we get a sub 7. So a sub 7 is equal to a sub 4 over 7 times 6. And a sub 4 is a sub 1 over 4 times 3. So 7 times 6, skip 5, 4 times 3. Okay, a1, a4, a7. Uh, if we want one more, we would go up by 3, so it would be a10. So a10 is n equals 7, is a7 divided by 10 times 9. which is a1 divided by 10 times 9, skip 8, 7 times 6, skip 5, 4 times 3, skip 2. Okay, um, that's the next, the, the second sequence. The last sequence, we're still missing terms with a2, right? So a2, n equals 2, except that a2 equals 0, right? So this was the constant term in our power series equation. 2a2 is supposed to be equal to 0, so a2 equals 0. Then you plug in n equals 2 here, you get a5. So a5 equals a2 divided by something, but a2 is 0. 
So 0 is equal to also a5. Also 0 is equal to a8, a11, etc. So this whole sequence is 0 just because a2 equals 0. Okay, we can put it all together here. I can write down a few terms. So this is our power series, so we can write y of x equal to, the first term is everything is proportional to a0. So we have an a0. I can write a few of these terms. Uh, the first one will be 1, right? The next one will be plus a3 times x cubed. So it will be x cubed divided by 3 times 2. The next term will be a6 times x to the 6, which will be plus x to the 6 divided by 6 times 5, skip 4, 3 times 2. Okay, so that's this first series. The next series has an a1 in it, so plus a1. The leading term will then be x, right, a1x. And then the next term will be a4, so plus x to the fourth uh, over 4 times 3, skip 2. And then the next term will be a to the seventh times x to the seventh, which will be plus x to the seventh over seven times six times four times three, uh, et cetera. Okay, so these are our two power series. These power series then are solutions to the Aries equation. So let me uh, review what we did. We're solving the Aries equation, y double prime minus xy equals 0. It's an equation we don't know how to solve by any other analytical method because there's a non-constant coefficient. x is not a constant here. Okay? It's the independent variable. So we do a series expansion. We substitute into the differential equation. We write it as a single power series. The single power series equals 0 will tell us that the coefficient a2 must be 0, plus we get a recursion relation. Then we get three sequences, one starting with a0, uh, one starting with a1, and then the sequence starting with a2, because a2 is 0, gives us a5 is 0, a8 is 0, a11 is 0, so all of these are 0. So in the end, we only end up with two uh, independent power series with two free parameters, A0 and A1. In the next video, I will discuss uh, what these functions look like. Uh, in order to see a graph of them, we'll have to do a numerical solution. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.